very tense and exciting time here at the Italian Club in Bunbury. We're approaching the final 10 voting cards in the 1983 Hayward Medal for the Southwest National Football League's fairest and best award. At the moment, we have Topper Morris, the big Harvey Brunswick ruckman, leading on 23 votes. He has a seven-vote lead over Bunbury's Al Shiasaki, and both these players were the popular favourites among the people in the hall this evening uh, to take out the coveted award. With only 10 votes remaining, or 10 cards to be read uh, to complete the voting for this evening, everybody is waiting uh, to see just how it will turn out. We know that there hasn't been a Harvey Brunswick footballer win the award. They've had a couple that have gone very close over the years, but have yet to take out the award with seven votes up his sleeve at this stage. He looks as though the big fella from Harvey Brunswick may be the first to clinch a Hayward medal win. With those 10 votes remaining, we now go to the chairman of the Southwest National Football League, Mr. Bob Black. Busselden versus Colley. D. Roberts, Busselden, three votes. P. Slater, Colley, two votes. G. Hayward, Colley, one vote. Augusta Margaret River versus Harvey Brunswick. R. Tyson, Augusta Margaret River, three votes. D. Morris, Harvey Brunswick, two votes. P. McCann, Margaret River, one vote. Harvey Brunswick versus Bunbury. D. Morris, Harvey Brunswick, three votes. G. Jeffries, Harvey Brunswick, two votes. A. Shiasaki Bunbury, one vote. That completes the count. And David Morris of Harvey Brunswick polled 28 votes to be the winner. Congratulations, David. You've been trying a long time. You've been a good footballer. I said a fair bit before and I've just about run out of what I've got to say because I thanked all my mates over there and uh, but I'd just like to thank all the supporters from Harvey Brunswick that came along here tonight to support me. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take the opportunity to introduce to you, as Topper Morris makes his way down into the crowd, the Hayward medalist for 1983, David Morris. And David, you're quite welcome to go back to your club now. And as he goes down, ladies and gentlemen, you can show him the usual applause in the usual manner. Thank you very much. We have just seen the conclusion of the voting in the 1983 Hayward medal with the most popular win, the victory going the way of Harvey Brunswick's ruckman in David Morris. David, congratulations on winning the medal. I believe the first time a Harvey Brunswick footballer has won it. How do you feel? Uh, thanks, Terry. I'm actually, I'm very, very proud to have won this medal and I've been very nervous all day, uh, just sweating and, uh, but you know, as I said, I'm very proud to have won this medal. Dave, your side didn't go all that well this season. You finished out of the five, and that's the first time for a number of years. But personally, it must be a, a great feeling of achievement for yourself. Uh, I know that you put a lot of work into your game, and a lot is expected from you out there. Uh, but you've uh, won the medal, and as I said early, the first Harvey Brunswick player to have done so, and uh, that is really a feather in your cap. What's going to happen next year with Harvey Brunswick? I imagine you will stay on as a player. Yeah, I certainly will stay on as a player next year, Terry. And uh, we're looking forward to better things out there. They've got to get, recruit a few more players and, you know, we'll, we'll be right back there in the 84 season. Well, let's hope that everything does go well for Harvey Brunswick next year. And now to present the medal on behalf of the Roberts family, Mr Guy Castillo of Bones of Bunbury. Thank you, Terry. David, you've been an outstanding player for your club, Harvey Brunswick, over the years. Uh, and a great player in 1983 and it's I'm very proud and privileged to present to you with the 1983 Hayward Medal. Well that wraps it up here at the Italian Club in Bunbury. Once again repeating the 1983 Hayward Medal has been won by David Morris of Harvey Brunswick with 28 votes. 192 centimetre Ruckman was a popular win last night and had a clear lead of eight points from his nearest rival, Al Shiosaki of Bunbury. This morning, a remarkably clear-headed Topham Morris was back on the farm. He's played with Harvey Brunswick since he was 15, notching up 134 league games. That's not bad for a boy who used to be left on the bench because he was too clumsy. Though his team didn't make it to the finals this year, 
David was hopeful his individual performance was good enough to take out the medal. I was reasonably confident in a way. I thought I'd do well, but uh, when I read the paper and saw that Alf Shiyosaki had got 25 votes in the last round of the um, Humes Award, I thought, you know, he must have had a really top last round. And even though I had a fairly good last round too, I thought he you know, might overhaul me in the end. He and his wife Janine are still elated, but realise there's no time to waste. Thinking it over, there's a farm to run. Jill Colgan, Golden West Network News. Congratulations, David.